Getting unstuck is easy, right? All you gotta do is leave everything behind and start afresh. Life has been great, especially since I now work from home. No commute, no stupid illnesses, just pure productivity. Okay, life isn't that good. I am stuck. But the goal is so clear. Maybe I need to accept that this isn't for me. Have you ever felt like this? You've done seemingly everything right. You've determined where you want to go. You've set your goals. Maybe you even created three, six or 12 months plans. And then you set out to do the very thing that you decided to do. And in the middle of it, it all starts to feel meaningless. And you are stuck again. I know because I've had three careers over the last 25 years, one in finance, one as an airline pilot and as a content creator. And in each one of them, I had those feelings of being stuck. Heck, at one stage I even said, let's leave everything behind and start completely afresh. I moved country. Did that solve the issue? You guessed it. No, it did not. But now I'm fine, right? Well, take this video, for example. I had the idea for it and I went out to do a little bit of research. I pondered over my own experiences and I got really excited because I thought I can make this into a short film, something that I really wanted to do until I edited two minutes of this. And there it was again, that feeling. I was stuck. So much so that I texted some of my YouTube friends just to vent about it. And one of them had really good advice, more on that later. But if setting goals doesn't solve the issue and running away from it all and starting afresh doesn't get you unstuck either, what does? For years, I was stuck in the routine, taking off tasks without really knowing why. And then I realized it's not about what I do. It turns out that often we don't need to give up on our jobs or careers when we are stuck. We only need to rediscover who we serve and why. ago I found myself in a tough spot and I went to see a therapist. And I still remember this one advice that he gave me where he said, hey, you need to get out of your own head and start to help others. And I thought, bullshit, how is that gonna help me? But I did realize later on that it also means thinking a little bit less about our own problems and thinking about how maybe we can help others to solve theirs. Who do you serve? and why? Those questions you may have very well considered when creating those goals, but in the middle of things, they easily get forgotten. The effects are far more reaching because if you integrate those thoughts, those questions into your day-to-day -day activity, first of all, without leaving your job, you feel much happier about what you do. And you're also feeling a lot more fulfilled in your life. But the other thing that you gain is you gain a lot of clarity about the things that you need to do next and a lot of flexibility in your thinking about what it is that you exactly need to do for those who you serve. Oh, and if you wondered what Ben said about being stuck, you know, Ben, one of my YouTube friends, well, the first thing he said is sometimes you're just being stuck and all you can do is wait. Hmm, okay. But he also had a great suggestion and he said to me, why don't you change the start of this video to this video 
isn't finished and that's kind of the point. And I like that. So 